Hello everybody, this is Sir Jean Bonduc and I'm going to demonstrate a, a number of features of JSH 7.5.5. Um, the most powerful new feature is in fact an improvement of an existing feature. It's uh, an improvement of the search engine in JSH. Um, when you use JSH, you can make search in a folder in which you can define a folder and you will search in JSH files which are in this folder. So I'm going, for example, to try a search in the JSH folder itself. Okay, so I'm searching in the JSH folder and now um, you can search, for instance, this was already possible for a sequence of glyphs, say uh, this, and it will display all the text which contains those glyphs. But something more interesting is that sometimes you uh, want to search for a word and you don't know the exact um, orthography of the word. So suppose you want text about the vizier and so you know there will be the cha sign and normally a t after that but maybe that the t will be separated from the cha sign by another sign so what you can do is add a skip a skip is uh, represents a number of glyphs an arbitrary number of glyphs between two glyphs so if I type this and another skip and this A1, then I'm going to look at text which contains the cha sign, then any kind, any number of glyphs, then the T sign, then any number of sign glyphs, then the A1 sign. Uh, if I do that, I will get way too many results because uh, the signs can be separated by any number of signs, so you can very easily have uh, a cha sign at the beginning of a text and then much later on a T. So what you can do now and which didn't work very well before is that you can give a set of value to max, max skip length, which is going to say how many signs this star can represent. A zero means, in fact, any number of signs. If I choose, for instance, two, which is very often a good value, uh, then both stars will represent at most two signs. And then I can start my search, and you see that I find a number of, a number of texts. If I click on them, it will open a, wi a JSH window, and I get a nice vizier here and with a by the way a z1 sign between the t and the a1 and if i click on this one i will get another spelling from the teaching of uh Tahotep with without the z1 Okay, uh, so this is very nice. Uh, this is the new stuff in uh, 7.5.5. Uh, I'm going to say a word or two about existing features you may not know. Uh, suppose you want to look for the uh, particle poo, and you know that it might be written both with the uh, quail chick or uh, this sign. So what you want to do is to do one search for both of them. And uh, of course you could do both search one after the other, but you want to do only one search. And what you can use is those brackets. When you put signs between brackets like this in the search, 
uh, the signs will uh, it will search for one of those signs. So this will search for a P and then one of those two signs. So if I start to the search, I've got quite a few answers. And if I look at the values, then I've got a poo here. And uh, if I look at Stellar's, for instance, oh, okay. If I look at Stellar, I will get for probably um, something. Okay. Okay, Stella uh, at Stella. If I look at Stella, I will get uh, something with the quail chick here. Um, okay, that's it. Uh, there is a something which might be a powerful system, but which will need Jessen to evolve a lot about uh, sign description, which is the use of variants. You can uh, search for variant signs. So if you do this, normally you will probably search for both poo with the quail chick and poo with uh, the rope. So, for instance, here is one example. Uh, the problem is that it doesn't always work very well, for instance, because uh, the notion of variance. I use is very extensive. So, for instance, if you look at uh, this sign, so just sign, if you ask for its variants, you will get those variants. Some of them are actual bona fide variants of the just signs, and others are here simply because they look like the just sign. They might not be uh, real variants of it. And if you click multiple times on variants, you will get variants of variants. And for instance, this one is also an oak, so you will get the oak sign. And if you do this until there are no more variants, you will get, for instance, basically all get uh, all birds and quite a few signs which are very remote from the first sign. So. It's a notion of variance which is not precise enough for our pupils. Uh, so this basically is not very useful. You can try it, but the current results won't be very good. Uh, it's supposed to evolve, but the data itself in the JSH sign list is not currently uh, up uh, to, to what it should be for, for having uh, meaningful and useful results there. Um, other new uh, functions of uh, this, this the new JSH system, um, there is a system to add new lines in a very efficient way. So basically, you can edit line numbers in JSH. For instance, I'm going to add a line number here and say, for instance, it's x plus 1. OK, obviously it should be 1, but uh, I use x plus 1 just to demonstrate the new system. And once you have done this and you want to insert a new, the, a new number for a new line, you can use insert next line number. And there is a shortcut for it. And the advantage is that it will take the last number in the previous line, the number you have typed, and increase it. So here, for instance, I can add line numbers, as much like my line numbers I, as I want. 
Obviously, when you change your page number, for instance, you have to type again the wall uh, number, but it makes uh, it's a very, very nice uh, system when you add, want to add line numbers, for instance, for all your lines in the JSH text. Um, a new function also which you will like is that at least it's it has been uh, missing from day one of JSH. So something like 14 years after, I've finally taken the time to add an a proper enclosure drawing. So uh, I will probably add at a later date a round enclosure, but now there is square enclosure and I find it might be useful and it covers the whole manual decodage now. Uh, so this is it for the for JSH itself. There are a number of new export functions. So suppose you want to use the new uh, Unicode um, system for glyphs in another software. Uh, for instance, you have a database and you want to use glyphs for uh, JSH, uh, glyphs, uh, Unicode glyphs there. Then you have a copy to Unicode. Copy as simple Unicode text and you paste. And there you have a Unicode glyphs. Okay, you see this is not the JSH. Glyphs, it's Unicode text. Uh, you have also normally, um, but it will probably be more problematic, a copy as Unicode 12, which will add um, between the glyphs a number of uh, formatting characters. But it depends on the font. Not all fonts will support those uh, characters. Um, so, ah, the last, the last new thing is that you might know uh, there is at last a code in Unicode for the Egyptological Yod. So basically, Jessesh proposed two systems for the Egyptological Yod because there were a number of systems uh, in Unicode for this, but none of them were f was fully uh, usable. And now there is a specific code for Egyptological Yod, so you can check it. And if your text font uh, uses this code, you can use it. Uh, currently, uh, the most notable font with the uh, Unicode Yod is uh, Athena Unicode. Um, I hopefully a number of other system will include include this uh, this sign. Okay, that's all for this demonstration of uh, the new features of JSH. Uh, thank you for listening and goodbye.